All right, how are we doing this Monday night? We've got an easy night ahead. We're just going to do a couple of memorabilia breaks. It's going to be a half case of Leaf autographed uh, mini helmets and then a full case of the TriStar Game Day Greats autographed football jerseys. So that's what we're go going to be working on tonight. But you know the drill probably. We've got a little information to go over before we get started. So there is a note about my feedback. That's to let you know that I have it completely automated. Thank you to eBay for uh, giving us that wonderful feature. So anytime you leave positive feedback for me, you're going to instantly get it in return without having to wait. So it's a win-win there. And of course, a message saying thank you, because I do appreciate those of you who bid and break and chat and hang out with me and show me mullet pictures, Scott Pennington. Ha ha. <laughs> Hi, Scott. Um, what we're looking at right now, upcoming breaks, this is the stuff that's already listed on eBay that we're going to be breaking over the course of the next five nights. So tomorrow night we're going to do a single break, but it will be kind of a long one. It'll probably take us about an hour and a half to do a full case of Prism football. Then on Wednesday we'll do a little fourth and gold memorabilia for autographed items in that box, full-size helmet, mini helmet, jersey, and photograph. We're going to do some more 2017-18 Flawless Basketball. Yeah, that's right. I overpaid dramatically to get another case of that in. I don't know why. I, well, I do know why I did, because I just hadn't hit what I wanted to hit yet. I think we can do better than we've done, so there you go. Bought one more case. We'll find out. On Wednesday night, we will also open a full case of 2018-19 Certified Basketball. That is its release day, so we'll dig into it Wednesday night. Thursday, we'll open 1718 Flawless Basketball. Again, we'll open more Prism Football, which will be the last of the Prism Football on Thursday night. On Friday night, right now it is only listed as 2018-19 Flawless Collegiate Basketball. So we got Flawless Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. But Wednesday and Thursday, that fantastic uh, rookie class of last year, will be that regular NBA Flawless with the 17-18 Rookie Class Friday and Saturday. We'll be opening the 18-19 Collegiate Flawless, just to draw a point of differentiation there. Also on Friday night, it's not up and listed yet, but tomorrow I'm going to put up a three-day listing that will plug in to Friday night, which will be another case of certified basketball. I just didn't get it listed on time last night. So we'll fill in the gap by running it as a three-day listing that will go up tomorrow evening. We'll still end on Friday night. Saturday night, Flawless Collegiate. Again, we're going to roll through the last of the Bowman Chrome that I have. Uh, so that'll be our, we'll be waving goodbye to 2018 Bowman Chrome after we break that HTA case on Saturday night. And of course, that is all hits, no base, so it'll be 36 autographs in that one. And then we're going to open a nine-box case of Topps Triple Threads Baseball on Saturday night as well. So that's what the nights ahead look like for tonight. Free shipping breaks, both, uh, that we're doing tonight. So the mini helmets are going to break first. The autographed football jerseys are going to break second. Anytime I do a break with completely free shipping, I project it to go out the door uh, six or seven days after the auction ends. So I'm projecting it out a week from today which is Monday the 19th. Now, in all likelihood, it's going to go out the door a lot faster than that because I'm, I'm, we've got kind of a light week ahead. So more than likely, you're going to see it ship quicker than that, but it would be no later than Monday the 19th. We have no paid shipping breaks tonight, so we don't need to worry about that. The last piece of information on this page has to do with consolation cards. And here's how that works. If you're in a break with me and you don't hit anything, uh, don't hit base cards if you're in a card break, you don't hit hits, you know, if you're in one of these memorabilia breaks, your team is not the team that's pulled, you are entitled to a consolation trading card. It can be from any year in any series. I basically just have a box of cards for each team. I would reach in there, grab one out, and that would be your consolation card. I track that stuff, your no-hit teams or your no-pull teams, I should say, for a rolling 90-day period. Since these are free shipping breaks, uh, normally what I would do is just hold on to that consolation card until the next time you have a package shipping. At that point, I would look at all the outstanding consolation cards that you're due, gather them all up at once, and I would include them with that next package. If you don't want to wait for that and you would like to have it sent right now in a plain white envelope with a stamp on it, all you need to do is send me a message by way of eBay and I will gladly get it rolling for you. 
So first up tonight, we are looking at a half case of 2018 Leaf Autograph Mini Football Helmets. So this is going to be four of them, makes up a half case. This is the start of a brand new case. So what that means to you is this. I'm going to take out all eight of the boxes that are in the case. I will number them on the end and then use random.org to determine which ones we're going to open tonight versus which ones we'll be opening in the uh, next break. There are a couple of unpaid teams tonight, but it is uh, they are people that have bid with me before. I've been in contact with one of them already, so we're going to let those ride, and uh, hopefully that will all work out. Everything we're opening tonight ended tonight, Monday night, the 12th of November. And, of course, you see the team names are there on the left-hand side. Your name is up in lights across from your team on the right-hand side if you are the winning bidder. And a new spreadsheet, of course, will go up before we do the jerseys, the one you just saw us for the mini helmets. Last but not least, I am taking autofocus out of the equation here, and that is why uh, your background went out of focus a little bit, because uh, I, I did that on purpose. I changed it up a little bit. So, And I always get it set not quite right for memorabilia. I know I'm like giving you in and out. It's going to give you a headache, right? But I think we're pretty close there. Scott, you said you are working at the horse park this week. It is um, like super cold. You are correct about that. And while well, Packer Backer has joined you here in chat, it uh, looks like we've got a, a, a decent number of people watching, just not chatting with us tonight, Scott. Looks like you and Packer Backer are the only ones involved in the chat. So once again, this is the start of a new case, as I mentioned a moment ago. So all the mini helmets are going to come out. I'm going to number them on the end. Random will then be used to determine which ones we're opening now, which ones we're opening in the next break. Packer Backer says it's going to be cold in South Texas, too. It's going to drop into the 40s. You know what? I think we're getting maybe down into the 20s. If it's not tonight, it's tomorrow night that we're supposed to have some crazy cold weather for this time of year as well. Scott and I are here in Kentucky, both Packer Backer, so um, we are, we, you should be a little warmer than us, and you are, but I think we're all a lot colder than we should be for this time of year. And I'm not much of a cold weather fan, so, you know, that doesn't, that doesn't exactly rock my world, we'll put it like that, but... We have to do what we have to do. That is one thing I miss about living in California. We did not get these crazy freezing cold uh, temperatures. All right, so here we are over here at our dear friend random.org. What did we ever do before random? And I'm simply going to type in one through eight. I'll hit random a single time. First four numbers that come up will open the corresponding four boxes. All righty, I start to say good luck. We don't need good luck for this, right? It's just going to tell us which boxes. <laughs> so it gives us eight, six, seven, and five. How about that? So it's really five, six, seven, and eight, not in that order, but yet it's kind of in sequential order. So, huh, how about that? That'll make it easy. I can just take one, two, three, and four and put it back in the case, and I will be right back with you. I like it when they're um, nice and easy like that, so I don't have to rearrange the whole world to get them out. That makes that makes me happy. Griffin is here. Hi, Griffin, and you're new, so you're learning. All right, well, Griffin, you jump in and ask us any questions that you might have along the way. So we will be happy to help you out with anything that you have a question about. Latchman is here. Hi, Latchman. I am going to try to find you a helmet tonight. Oh, and you know what I did find, Latchman? I do not have, you asked me about Stadium Club. I don't have Stadium Club, but one of my distributors does still have some. Not a lot, but a handful of boxes. So if you still want some Stadium Club, I can ask them what the price is, just FYI. Uh, he called me today, and I asked him if he had any. So this is for the Dallas Cowboys. First out is Bob Lilly, Hall of Famer there for the Cowboys. Leaf COA and a Leaf hologram authentication on the back 
of the helmet itself. So first out, Cowboys drawing first blood. I don't know where Jay Allen is tonight, Scott. He must be, um, he must be just, I don't know. He must be watching Monday Night Football or something. Perhaps. Oh, it's going to be 14 degrees in Minneapolis. Latchman, don't go out of your house, man. That's way too cold. That is not cool at all. 14 degrees. We're not even to Thanksgiving yet, people. This is terrible. Mike Singletary, and you also have a little Hall of Fame inscription on it. Of course, this is the Bears. We've got a Leaf Hologram authentication on the back. And looks like hiding down inside there, we have our Leaf uh, credit card size COA. <laughs> Packer Backer says, man, you hate Odell when you're playing him. <laughs> so you must be watching Monday Night Football. Did he just score there against the Niners or what's happening with that? Oh, it was, well, Inception Latchman, I know about. Inception, I'm still looking for here. I know I have some. I don't know how much I have. That's the question for that. But you had also asked me about Stadium Club at one point, which I which I did, did not have, do not have, but I did find if somebody wants it, if you want me to ask the price. This is a nice hit. This is Kirk Cousins. Well, they're all nice hits, but this is Kirk Cousins for the Vikings. I do not see the sticker COA on there, guys. Um, I'm not sure where it is, and there is not a COA inside of here either. So we've had this happen before, and it is, um, from what I have been told in the past, here's how it works. Now, the last guy that got one like this absolutely lost his mind. I hope that whoever has the Vikings tonight does not lose their mind, because let me tell you, Leaf will apparently take care of that for you. Yeah, uh, what I have been told is that you email them and tell them what the situation is, and then they get a COA to you. So I'm not sure exactly how it works, other than it's not supposed to cost you anything, and that Leaf, uh, you know, says that it'll take a few weeks to do it, is what I have been told. So it's a really nice Kirk Cousins autographed helmet for the Vikings, but as you see, Leaf left out the COA. But guess what? Here's another hit for the Vikings. So <laughs> it's kind of like a buy one, get one free if you've got Minnesota tonight. Carl Eller is on this one. And I know this looks kind of black. And it's not. It's purple. I don't know why it shows up weird colors lately, but it does. My stupid camera. This one does have your Leaf uh, hologram sticker on the back and a Leaf little credit, size, credit card size COA down inside of it. So, yeah, so that's how that's uh, kind of come out here. So we're going to recap this in a second. And Scott said you can't go through this again after Corey disappeared. <laughs> you know, Corey um, stopped by the other night. He was here not too awfully long ago. And Jay Allen said something to us in chat about Monday night a couple nights ago. I remember he said something about Monday night, but I don't remember what it was so that's i i think he's just uh, i think he's just kind of wandered off you know so to recap once again we have the kirk cousins for the vikings guys missing the coa leaf has done that this is now the second helmet leaf has done that to me on but considering the number that we've opened that's not too bad but once again, if you are the person who this is coming to, you just reach out to Leaf. I am told that it will take a few weeks, but they will replace that COA for you. This is Carl Eller for the Vikings. It does have our COA hologram sticker on the back, credit card size COA inside there. So two coming out for the Minnesota Vikings, crazily enough. And Mike Singletary is out for the Bears. It is also fully authenticated with the sticker and the card. And then Bob Lilly was the first we looked at for the Cowboys. Also fully authenticated sticker on the back, the card on the side. So that is the deal right there. Latchman, you said that's yours. The Vikings is yours. Well, then you, um, like rocked through that latchman <laughs> he said i asked for one but i got two i know right and a really good one too with the kirk cousins not that carl eller is not good because he's good too but you know what i'm saying 
let me get our uh, let me get the case picked up for the jerseys and we'll go over the spreadsheet again before we open these and yeah we're gonna have a quick break tonight kind of uh, in and out tonight so I can get more sorting done and we can get more stuff shipped and of course many of you have seen labels have printed Saturday night Sunday Monday we had no mail today though right because of Vi uh, Veterans Day I sort of say because of Vikings Day you see where my head is because of Veterans Day so all of those labels that you've seen printing over the last couple days will actually be picked up tomorrow and tracking will update tomorrow night so I imagine everyone has probably seen this by now, but if you didn't, here's the deal. Uh, free shipping breaks, I project out about a week after the fact, so projecting them to go out no later than Monday the 19th. The reality is they're probably going to go out a lot sooner than that because I'm fairly well caught up right now. And of course, consolation card information you can read there on the screen. Up at the top, if you have questions about any of that, please hit me up and let me know. I will gladly answer them for you. So this is going to be five boxes of 2018 TriStar Game Day Greats autograph football jerseys, which makes up a full case. And this is break number 32. We've got the same format that you know and love. Team names on the left, winning bidders are across from it on the right-hand side. And um, these are always a lot of fun. I really like doing autograph memorabilia. I don't care what sport it is. I like doing it in basketball, baseball, football, all of it. I just think it's fun. So I'm kind of jazzed about what we're going to get out of here. And it's a little change of pace. We've been doing a lot of leaf lately uh, in the jersey. So a little change of pace to get some more TriStar worked back in. Of course, TriStar came out uh, a bit farther back than leaf. So the supply of those is starting to dry up a little bit, but hasn't completely gone away yet. Ooh, that one feels really heavy, the one on the top, by the way. Like, really heavy. Let's open it first. Let's get the rest of these boxes out of the way, because they're just in my way. This one, right here, feels heavier than all the rest of the boxes. Ho-ho! So, that could mean one of several things. It could mean that it's one of our multi-signed custom jerseys, which would be bigger than a normal one. It could be that uh, there's something, I don't know what else could be in there. Something else, maybe. All right, so you found some Stadium Club Latchman. Awesome. And we're just working on the inception then. Perfect. Hi, Toby. I don't know if I saw you jump in a minute ago. But if I didn't, hi, to if I didn't say hi already, hi to you, Toby. So we're opening this one first because it feels really, like, heavy and thick. And it's seriously going to make Toby so mad. <laughs> I mean, first out of the bag, man, Toby is just cussing already. He hates it when I pull a Steeler. And the first one we see, yeah, it's a Pittsburgh Steeler. It is Antonio Brown. It felt heavy because it's that crazy custom Bumblebee jersey, which is really heavy, much heavier than our normal jerseys. So there's the AB autograph. You've got a JSA authentication sticker down there at the bottom and a JSA paper authentication right there on the back. This little card is just informational. You know, that's not a COA or anything. It's just an informational deal. And uh, I will tuck all of that, your little informational card and your JSA authentication. All that will be kind of folded up inside your jersey, sort of. So just when you get it, just make sure that you locate that before you toss everything out. And let's move on down the line and see what we can find next. Toby, you said you were surprised we didn't pull a Steelers mini helmet. I know, but man, why don't you just buy the Steelers? You know how much, whenever you're here, it seems like I pull Steelers. And if you're not here, we don't pull as much in the way Steelers. Honestly, anytime we do a case... A full case we usually find one I mean uh, let's just be real not every time but a lot of times and even in the half cases it's fairly common but as I've told you guys many times before when it comes to TriStar look and see who they have signing at all the national card events and that's who you're gonna find a lot of in their products they had a lot of Steelers sign last year and this year Adam Thielen for the Vikings 
JSA authentication sticker there at the bottom. He signed it really high on the number, but there is your Thielen autograph there and your JSA authentication uh, paper to match your sticker. Adam Thielen, of course, has been playing lights out for Minnesota. Guy was undrafted, and man, he has just been cutting a path, playing extremely well. Somebody want to fill Jesse in on who our mini helmets were? Um, uh, the only thing I can remember is there were two Vikings. It was Kirk Cousins and Carl Eller. And let me think a minute. Um, we have Bob Lilly for the Cowboys. Who is the other mini helmet, guys? Um, I know I just opened it, Jesse, but they go right out of my head. Especially when we start then opening other things like we are right now. This is Andre Tippett. So the Patriots with a hit. Probably not the player you were expecting if you've got the Patriots. Um, but nonetheless, there it is for the New England Patriots. You have got uh, an inscription there, a JSA authentication sticker. Uh, he's another one that has signed it way up here in the top corner for some odd reason. And there's your JSA paper authentication for it. Oh, yeah, Scott Bears. That was the other one. Right, right, right. Thank you. Thank you, thank you for that. Martin, you are looking to pull an Oakland Raider because you need a present for your sister. Well, let's see if we can conjure up a Raider. We had, uh, we had a Raider out of that last half case of Leaf the other night. But this, of course, is TriStar. And we haven't opened a full case of TriStar in a few weeks. I can't remember... So I don't know if we've recently pulled a Raider out of TriStar or not. But, you know who we have right here? Deshaun Jackson. Uh, that's nice. Yes, it is. And there is your JSA authentication sticker and your um, signature with a little Hall of Fame uh, inscription on it. And, oh man, this is all bent up in here. I mean, that's like way jacked up. But honestly, to tell you the truth, the paper part doesn't really matter. It's, it's the sticker that's on the item that matters. They can replace the paper one for you without a whole lot of trouble. But uh, if the sticker comes off the item, that's another matter. So this must be his collegiate jersey because there's no uh, other identifying information on it, of course, uh, on our other little informational card here, it notes the Eagles. So we'll just double check that. But I believe that is probably um, a collegiate jersey for him. So let me see what I can find out about this. If you hang on there for a moment, please let me look up Deshaun Jackson for you. Oh, come on there. My my iPad never wants to cooperate with me anymore. I'm going to have to replace this thing. It just is getting it just gets slower and slower and slower. All right, Deshaun Jackson, come on now. We've got to figure out um this, now, we've got to be looking at uh, two different things here because this guy signed this as Hall of Fame. So he's obviously the retired one. So, yeah, there is a Deshaun Jackson that is the current Deshaun Jackson, but this would appear to be a different one. This would appear to be a retired one, right? And drafted by the Eagles in 2008. So is there... Um, I mean, why would he sign that Hall of Fame if he's, I don't know. I gotta, I'm looking it up, kids. I'm looking it up to try to figure out what's going on with it. So, yeah, I mean, I don't know. I'm trying to find it. Tell you what, I'm going to set this aside for a minute. We're going to come back to it. We've got one more to look at. Let's look at that one, and then I'm going to go back into... Uh, NFL.com and figure out this Deshaun Jackson because there certainly is one that plays for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers but I just don't know if it's the same guy it would be unusual to have like the same name the exact same name spelled the exact same way but you never know so we'll find out here shortly
Yeah, again, guys, I just have to make sure it's the same player. I see you guys are all saying he plays for the Bucks, and I hear what you're saying. But that inscription definitely says, uh, definitely says Hall of Fame. And he wouldn't be elected to a Hall of Fame if he was still playing, which is the only reason I think that it could possibly be two different players. So I'm going to try to sort that out for you here shortly. Jerry Rice, baby. That's nice right there. Oh, yeah, we may have to take this one out and get a better look at Jerry Rice here because that is pretty sweet, if I do say so myself. So there's your nice uh, Jerry Rice signature on there. Uh, you've got a TriStar hologram authentication on it. It is all folded funky and weird and whatever, uh, but it's a custom jersey and they often do fold kind of weird. Of course, Jerry Rice, we know, is a 49er. I'm just looking to see what the front of it looks like. That's kind of a retro throwback, but it doesn't. Sometimes they stitch in 49ers. Sometimes they don't. So, a very nice Jerry Rice comes out uh, here at the end for the 49ers. You do have a paper that goes with it, but I don't really think these papers actually match up with the sticker because there's no number that says that. So, once again, the sticker, the important part. And then, of course, there's your um, informational card about it. So we had the Jerry Rice, which we know for sure the 40 is a 49er. We have an Adam Thielen that is absolutely a Viking. We have uh, the hit for the Patriots, the Antonio Brown for the Steelers. And then i got to go back to try to figure out this Deshaun Jackson deal. So... Let's see what we can uh, figure out about that, kids. So we're back to, uh, so that is all of the jerseys for those of you who want to hang around and help me try to sort this mess out. Um, I wonder if, is there any possibility they gave us like a different player than what it says on this card? Because while that does say Jackson, that doesn't look like Deshaun to me. Does that look like Deshaun to you? Because it doesn't to me. So here's the first thing I'm going to do is go to um, the JSA website and we're going to type in that confirmation number and I'm going to make sure that that is actually a Deshaun Jackson signature. I think maybe that's where we start out. And uh, where does it tell where does it tell us to go here? I guess SpenceLOA.com is where we need to go. And right at this moment, I cannot see chat while I'm using my very slow iPad to go look this up. So bear with me. If you're typing into chat, I will see it shortly, um, but not quite yet. All right, we need to verify authenticity. What does that say it is? WP... I better take it off the item even, not even off that, although they do match, I think. 7177. For anybody playing along at home, it's 717724. Now we're going to verify and see what it says. Well, there's our problem. This is not Deshaun Jackson. This is wrong. That card is wrong. So if you go to the JSA website, which I you can go right or to the SpenceLOA.com and you type in this number, this tells us it was signed by Ricky Jackson, which actually does look like that signature. And so there we go. So it is Ricky Jackson, not Deshaun Jackson, and that's why none of it made sense. So now let me go verify um, Ricky Jackson's NFL career and see if we can't get this uh, squared away. So that, that was interesting, wasn't it? I knew Deshaun Jackson could not possibly be in the Hall of Fame while he was still uh, active, so <laughs> at least we know that. I think this is going to be a saint. I think, he's, I think he's the New Orleans Saints, but I'm trying to pull up his stats, so just bear with me here for a second until I can uh, get us there. Yeah, definitely New Orleans Saints. Looks like he played uh, 13 years for the Saints, only two years for another team. So it is uh, the Saints, and it is, in fact, Ricky Jackson, not Deshaun Jackson like the other thing said. So there we go. Ricky Jackson and the New Orleans Saints. So there. 
I thought so, that just did not look like any of that was making sense. Not the color scheme, not the signature, not the inscription. But you know what? What if like somebody didn't pay attention to that and you just looked at the little card that Tri TriStar put in there? They would have sent that off to somebody, to the whole wrong team, like it was for Deshaun Jackson. Because TriStar is not, uh, TriStar messed us up on that. So Ricky Jackson and the Saints, one of our jerseys. The Adam Thielen here for the Vikings was another another one out. The Antonio Brown Bumblebee jersey, of course, for the Pittsburgh Steelers is the very first one we saw tonight. The amazing Jerry Rice jersey, which I've got to tell you, I love a little bit. That's like so nice. We pulled Joe Montana out of the leaf half jerseys a couple nights ago and now we pulled jerry rice out tonight out of the tri-star pretty sweet and then the patriots uh was the last out here for um tippet so there we go those are our those are our breaks for tonight there's um there is, yeah, nothing else to open tonight. I kind of scheduled this kind of late, didn't I? I will put up spreadsheet information here one more time for anybody who might have missed it earlier. We're going to take a little spin through the things that we're going to be breaking over the days ahead. And then we'll look at the shipping stuff one more time. So tomorrow night is easy. Well, not easy, but it'll be long, probably an hour and a half or so. But just the one break. It'll be a full case of Prism football. Wednesday night, we'll do a fourth and goal football box. It's that uh, nice box with four autograph memorabilia items in it. Full-size helmet, mini helmet, jersey, and picture. We'll do some 17-18 flawless basketball. The last hurrah for that. And then we'll open a case of 2018-19 certified basketball, which releases on Wednesday. And it's not totally certified this year. It's regular certified, which eh, I like better. Everybody's got their own opinion, but I like regular certified better. Thursday night, we'll open more 17-18 Flawless Basketball, more Prism Football. That'll be the last of the Prism Football on Thursday night. Friday night, we'll start opening 2018-19 Flawless Basketball. It will be the Flawless Collegiate that will come out on Friday. We'll open it on Friday right now. That's the only break that's up for Friday, but I will be scheduling um, another certified case break will also be Friday night. That listing just won't show up until tomorrow evening. It'll be a three-day listing. Then on Saturday, we'll open 1819 Flawless Collegiate Basketball. We'll uh, open a case of Bowman Chrome HTA, and we'll be waving goodbye to the Bowman Chrome after that. We have, I don't think I have any more. I'll double-check in case I've got any like loose half case quantities or something. It's always possible that I do, but it's the last full case I have anyway. And then we'll open another nine box case of Triple Threads Baseball. So that's what it looks like days ahead. And of course, shipping for the stuff from tonight out the door no later than Monday. Most likely going to be out a lot faster than that, but no later than Monday a week from today. Free shipping stuff always projects about a week out. So that has got that covered and... Martin, if you are still here, I think I have not sent you what you need yet for the Bulls the other night. I don't think I sent that uh, that PayPal request over there. So I'm probably going to do that later tonight, or I'll, unless I did it and don't remember doing it. But I don't remember doing it. <laughs> so if I did do it, please let me know. But I don't think that I did. So I will do it after we finish up uh, the break tonight because I'm going to hope to get that shipped out pretty soon, I think. And um, so I, oh, Rick was in chat. I missed you up there, Rick, and you too, Craig. Um, and yeah, definitely, if you guys were saying uh, Ricky Jackson, I did, of course couldn't see that. I wasn't in chat at that moment. I was off looking it up on that JSA website. And absolutely, it goes to the, to the Saints. It's going to always go to the signature on the item so the little informational card that they put in there was simply incorrect stating deshaun jackson but that's why we recognized that and rolled over to the uh to the actual authentication to figure out who the team was and of course absolutely it goes to the saints because you know because it's going to go because that's who it is that's who signed it 
And I guess that's it for tonight. Thank you, everyone. Thanks for joining me. We'll be back at it tomorrow night with some Prism football. So hopefully we will see uh, one or more of you again then, or if not then, sometime soon. So enjoy the rest of your night, and we'll see you the next time. Bye now.